Hey friends, uh, today we're going to go over factor synth. I'm going to read the description from the manual because I think it really is eloquent to explain what this thing does. Uh, factor synth is a Max for Live device that uses machine learning to decompose sounds into sets of elements. Once these elements have been obtained, you can modify and rearrange them to remix existing clips, remove notes, randomize patterns, and create complex textures with only a few clicks. So let's just go ahead and, and, and see what's, what's going on here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over um, a clip that is full of sounds. There's drums, there's, there's uh, tonal instruments and things like that. Um, the first thing you need to do is you need to select that clip, okay, and uh, you need to hit factorize. So as long as the clip is selected, when you hit factorize, it's going to start the clock and, and it's going to load it into the system. So as you can see right now, it is listening to the audio and it is <laughs> factorizing. Factorize! Um, it's, it's loading the audio, and once the audio is in, we can get in there and, and start to mess with it. So it looks like it's finishing up. Yeah, and basically if I just stop the clock, we've got this audio. Now what it does is it processes the audio, and it's going to load it into this first section right here. So once it's finished, we can start to mess around. All right, so now we've loaded this audio into here, and you can see there's some data and some wackiness going on here. Um, the first thing I'm going to do in the master operations, I'm going to hit this. So basically, this is a way, as it says, to reconstruct the original sound. So let's just go ahead and listen to what the audio is. So that's, that's what the original sound is. And another way that you can listen to the original sound that you've loaded in is this little playhead. Right. So, so now we have all these different elements. And this is, this is what they call the switchboard. Okay, this is just, it's just so interesting. If I deactivate everything but this lowest one, listen to this. Pretty interesting, right? So what it's done is it's captured just the lowest lows. This sounds like the kick drum. What it's trying to do is it's trying to separate these different elements. So maybe I'll just listen to the to some of these top ones. Right. So I hope that, that <laughs> I hope that you're instantly excited about this because you can load any, say you're trying to do a remix, you can load any audio into this thing and you can just solo different sections of the audio and create remixes. It's just incredible. Right? So it gets so much better. Let's just go ahead and solo maybe some of these middle parts. Maybe I'm trying to just get that weird like Satari kind of sound. Let's just kind of talk about what's going on here. This is the what they refer to the temporal side, and this is the spectral side. Okay, so what it tried to do is it tried to it tried to listen to the song and separate the elements from each other as best that it can. Right. So if frequencies are happening at the same time, it can't necessarily separate them all the way, but it can remove and add certain spectra that does its best job that it can to isolate that sound. So. What we can do, though, is we can take these sounds and we can apply, for example, the temporal, like the rhythm, you know, temporal meaning time, we can apply the, the rhythm to a certain sound. So at this point, this is the sound we're listening to, right? Kind of the lower notes of the sitar sound. Maybe we'll just do the, the beginning notes of the sitar sound, too. All right, so we've got the full sitar sound. What I can do is I can actually apply the hi-hat rhythm right, to these sounds. If I go like this, and I take these out, this is what we get. <laughs> right, and I can add maybe some of these. So, I mean, that's just incredible. So, I also happen to have the drum loops as different, uh, that they're, they're broken out into different things. So what I can do is I can add the kick and snare to this, Right, and then I get. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Right? Maybe I'll add the hats back in. All 
Okay, so so I mean, I hope you can see the, the the power here. This is this is nuts. You can get into further editing, but before I get there, I want to show you another thing. You have these master operations which kind of scramble the switchboard. So you know, maybe you just you don't really know exactly where you want to go with this. You can just hit these buttons, and look, all of a sudden it's sort of remixed your sound, and you get these random results. So let's listen to, to a couple of them. Whoa. I, I find that the one that, that kind of selects less is a little bit more useful because, I mean, you can think of these as mix elements, right? So, you know, the, the move here is to, I'm going to exit out of here, the move is to just create a new audio track, right? We're going to feed it in from Factor Synth, right? And we're just going to capture some of these different, these different sounds, so... <laughs> it's just so cool. Right, and then I can just go back into Factor Synth, and I can just maybe remix it again and listen to the result. Oops. That's kind of the same. Maybe we'll try this one. Oh, that's cool. And so we can figure out what what, what do we like from this? You know, maybe we don't want the 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 lowest lows in there. Figure out what's doing it. There we go. That's cool. So I'm gonna record that. <laughs> so sweet. All right. Well, let's check out some other stuff. Another thing that you can do is you can just have the wave the way it originally sounds. So it's, you know, if you put all these in a row and you've reset all these controls, it sounds just like a, the original clip, right? But the fun thing is that you can actually remix elements, okay? So let's say you have a clip and all you want to do is you just feel like there's too much of the snare, you know, or of, of the hats. You could turn each individual element down and it will resynthesize. And maybe you want some more lows of the... Yeah, you see, you want more lows of the sitar, or maybe you want, you know, I don't know, the kick drum to be higher, and the transients from the kick drum to be higher, so you get... Okay, up until now, I've been showing you what Factor Synth can do with a clip that's, you know, completely full of audio. There's drums, and there's, there's full elements, right? So in this case, we're going to look at just using the tonal section or this kind of sitar kind of sound um, with factor synth and, and some of the fun things you can do here. So when you choose the components, you can actually choose a lot more. You can really spread this out or you can make it really small. Like, you know, you can have four. Uh, at this point, we've I'm just leaving it on the default eight. So there's eight uh, components here uh, for, the, for the switchboard. So the first thing I can do, obviously, is I can, you know, scramble this up and listen to the result. <laughs> Right? That's kind of fun. And it's almost like changing the notes. Isn't that wild? And the reason that is is because it's applying the spectral element over different periods of time. Okay, so time, spectra, right? You're getting these different results. So you're kind of live remixing like a chordal situation. It's so cool. Try a different one. You know, and you can do it yourself. You can kind of tweak it around, try different switchboard combinations, and you get... <laughs> right? So that's not the only thing that you can do. Another thing you can do uh, is you can draw in different uh, ramps of, of spectra, like over time, and you've got this, you've got this ability to kind of make these different swells of different harmonics, right? You'll see what I mean here in a second. I'm just going to make a couple different ones in different areas. Check this out. Right? So, I mean, that is just so cool. So I'm going to make an audio track again. I'm going to feed in tonal into this track. Okay. Tonal. Make it armed. I don't need to listen to it for now. And I'm just going to capture that. At, 
this point, you're probably wondering what this is. You know, what is this red side? Well, what's cool about factor synth is that you have this X sin side, which you can drag and drop audio into. And what I've got here is I've got this this uh, pad element sounds like this. Right. Kind of weird sound. So what I can do is I can I've what I've loaded into factor synth is just the drum track. Sounds like right just very you know very basic and so what i can do is i can drag and drop some audio that other thing into into this side okay and i need to factorize it which means i just need to load it into factor synth right so now i've got these two elements here okay and as you can see there's only spectral data there's no temporal data so i hope you realize what this means what you can do is now you can just click on the switchboard okay and i want to make sure that I don't have this playing, which I don't, yep. What you can do is you can now use the switchboard to extract elements from this part using the temporal side of this. So I'm actually just going to turn these off. I'm going to clear this side. Okay, and now let's listen to the result. <laughs> kind of cool, right? I can try different combinations. I can turn on some of these again. And now we have... Right. So what the XN is is here for, it's for getting sounds from, it's getting temporal data from the drum loops and putting it over here. So let's combine that sound with the original loop and we have... Maybe some different... Right? I mean, just how amazing is that? I mean, another thing we can do, I'm just going to turn the drums on, their standard mode, okay? I've got this other sound, I'm going to turn this original jam off, and I have this other tonal loop that I've made, remember this thing? Right, so I've got that going, I've got this percussive loop, and let's just go ahead and see what this new, now that we've created all these fun elements, let's see what we got now, this is kind of fun. So, so I hope you can see just how incredible this device is. I'm just totally mind blown. Um, if you enjoy this kind of thing, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, everybody. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.